I'm going to touch on a bomb. You will forgive me. It's a bomb that I'm bringing. It's a bomb. It's a big one. If there's a mother, a wife connected somewhere or not connected, ask them to be connected. It's a bomb that I'm going to unleash this, this evening, this afternoon, wherever you are, this morning, wherever you are. It's a bomb. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us go to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 3 where our men of God took uh, the, I'm just going to bring out the scriptures as they are. I'm not going to, uh, like in the proper chronology or the proper sequence. So Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 3 reads, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So, it's, it comes from there. Thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace. And lastly, here he says, therefore, thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. If you go into the message of the month, June was our month of prayer. July was our month of joy. And now, it's our month of great grace. If you search in the spirit, if you search in the spirit, you will discover that this month is connected to the month of June. How? Because during the month of June, we were praying, we were setting things aright. But when we were setting things aright, there might be one or two or three things that try to prove to be a bit difficult, that try to, you know, you know to squeeze themselves through. But the Lord saw them. And he said, this is your month of great grace where you are going to go back to those that proved to be stubborn and quench them with great grace. So if there is anything that you dealt with in June and you think something was amiss, this is the month that we are in, month of great grace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the next scripture, Acts chapter 4, verse 33. <laughs> I'll read and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great was upon them all. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection. They gave witness of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever given witness of the resurrection? Can you prove that he resurrected? Can you prove that he is alive? Can you prove that Jesus is alive? You as a saint seated in the house of the Lord, can you prove it? We are supposed to prove it because this is what the apostles were doing. They demonstrated power to prove that he who was here, who, he whom you thought was dead, is alive and has ushered us now to carry on with his work. That's why they went about doing great things. Let's go to the next scripture. Um... Let's read Acts 5, 12 first. Acts chapter 5, verse 12. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. So this scripture and the one that we just said, this is demonstration of power. This month of great grace, we have been ushered to go out there and demonstrate power. That's why we are here. We are supposed to demonstrate power, raise the dead, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, cleanse the lepers. That's what we are supposed to do to prove the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I've been given this great grace. Let's go back to that scripture. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all, have your hands wrought any any miracles have you with your hands look at your hands look at your hands do we have any signs and wonders that are following your hands do we have them do we have them don't look at the nail whatever what do you call it nail polish we are not talking about nail polish or those are artificial nails no we are talking about uh, with your hands rotting signs and wonders when you appear there and you lay your hands, huh? 
when you lay your hands, it's no longer about the nail polish and whatever and whatever. It's about the power that is in your hands. If you have not done it before, thank God, this is our month of great grace. And because it's our month of great grace, we are going to demonstrate the power. We are going to be those that are going to prove that he resurrected and is alive. That's what we want in this juncture, at this time, where people say, oh, you just go to church. We have seen you going to church every time. And you come out of your home, leaving people sick, people dying in your house. But you are in church every day of the week, from morning till sunset. You are in church. You are singing. You are doing all those things. It's not enough. It's not enough. When you come into church, into the house of God, to do whatever you are doing. We are loading you up. You are being loaded up with that great grace to go back home and perform. It's like a bird that has left its young ones in a nest. It goes out there to go and look for food. When it comes back, the, ne the, the young ones will be singing and jumping to say, food has come. And for real, food has come. It's just the same with you when you leave home and that one is not feeling well. If you think you are not ready at that moment, you say, wait till I come back from my Wednesday service. And when you come from here, because the grace has increased in you, you go back and say, where are you? Where is the pain? Where is the problem? And you lay your hands there. Make sure you don't have those two long nails. Otherwise, it will confuse. It will distract the one that you are praying for. They will wonder, what sort of nails are these ones? They are too long now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Pastor went there as well. It's always good for us to go back to the message so that we understand what the message is doing in us and what we are using the message for. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 11, this is a long one, from verse 1. And it came to pass, when Jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now, when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. He said, go and declare to John. The blind receive their sight. <laughs> and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have, been, have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended with me. Praise the Lord. So now they have been coming to look for evangelist TK and they cannot find him. They come to say, where is he? They say, uh-uh. Now, we have been here three, four, five times. We cannot see him. Let's follow him to Dandenong, where they say he is. What is that way that you are going to give them? When they come in here and they discover that he is demonstrating power, they will come to, when they come, they say, we hear you are going there every day. And you say, okay. I'm not going to answer those questions. Those that said you go and tell them that where you found evangelist TK, the blind receive their sight. The lame are walking. The deaf, huh, they are being unstopped. You get it? Those with lepros, they are being cleansed. Those that are oppressed are being delivered. Because they find you doing the work, demonstrating power this month of great grace. So because they'll be doubting every time, it is, we have heard this again and again. Yeah, she's in church every day. She's doing this. She's doing this. If you have not proved by demonstrating to be a witness of the resurrection of the Lord, they will keep bothering you. But the day when you pass where they are and they are saying, oh, this headache has troubled me. You say, what? Headache? Headache? You say headache. They say, yes. You say, sit down. They sit down. Say, stand up. Stand up. Say, where is the headache? Say, it's gone. You say, that's what we do. Then after that day, they will never worry about you again. They will look for you. They say, where is the man that can cure the headache? You have got a name now. The man that can take away the headache. This is what we are doing this month of great grace. Demonstrating power. Being witnesses of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we are here. 
Because they think, they don't know. They just think, uh, uh, no, we are just in church to do something, whatever we are doing. But we are here to demonstrate power. We are not here to play. We are not here to joke. We are here to cast out devils. We are here to cast out demons. Whatever first the demons carries, we cast it out. Praise the Lord. So now, because John was in prison. He was in prison. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm in prison here and I'm, I'm hearing this man is doing great things. But is he the one? Jesus said, go and tell John what you have seen here. My works speak for themselves. I don't have to, to write a resume to John. John. No, 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 no. John, don't wait for a curriculum vitae, a resume. Just watch and see. Take photos. Take videos. I'm not sure if there was Snapchat those days. They could have taken uh, TikTok. There was TikTok. They took some TikTok and showed John in the prison. To say, you see, this is what is happening with this man. Because before he asked, did you see him? Say, no, 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 don't, don't ask, don't, don't ask, sit down. Watch. Watch. Watch, John. Watch what is happening. This man, watch what he's doing. This is what we want to see. When they follow you at Adelaide, they say, let's go and see. Before they ask, when did you come here? <laughs> they just take photos, TikTok, say, ah, what I'm seeing there. People rolling up and down. Uh, the blind are seeing. Uh, those that say they pain, uh, they are healed. Uh, they'll just carry their bags and say, what we found there, what we saw there. We don't know what name to give it. But this man is doing something. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's our month of what? Great grace. And this great grace must be demonstrated. Let it not be like Christmas that comes and goes. Let it be there permanently. Let's go to the book of uh, Acts, Acts chapter 11, verse 22 to 23. 22 to 23. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem. And they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch. Who, when he came and had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. So after all these things are done, this is what will happen in this verse. The message will go far and beyond to say this is what is happening there. And those that need that grace will also follow and be part and partake it hallelujah so you discover that's why we at times struggle because they will be asking you you are in church always but if you are not in church you are sick you are down you are sick it is you you the healer the healer in the house is sick and they are fanning the healer they are giving him all sorts of medicine yeah Five, six, seven. Yeah, they say, oh, oh, oh don't touch me. Oh, 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 don't, please. Can we give you a spoon of, a spoon of Coca-Cola? Let's give him a drop of uh, ginger beer. Whatever. It's you. Who should be demonstrating power in that house? This month, this month of great grace, we are all coming out of that. Yeah. Refuse to remain in there. Refuse to remain in there. Be the one bringing the healing. Be the one delivering the oppressed. Be the one that they will follow and take videos and say, don't ask, don't ask, we don't give you a resume, just watch. Praise the Lord. Just watch. We don't need to give you a resume. Don't, we, we don't want to... We don't want to look for jargon English to say when he was there, he knelt. No, 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 no. Just watch. Pastor said, this month of great grace, he said, extraordinary things will happen in your life. Did you take note of it? Extraordinary things will happen in your life. These things only happen when you are expectant of them, when you are conscious to say these extraordinary things. Let me give you a story. Long back, over in Africa. You know, in Africa, Africa is very rich with uh, animals and whatever. So if you are a man, if you are a man, you cannot just walk around with your pockets and nothing in your pockets. Not money. You are supposed to carry a knife wherever you go. As a man. Because, you see, because with how rich Africa is, you find somewhere 
where an elephant is being sorted. They will tell you, Papa, this is the elephant. With your knife, take whatever you want. You will try to look to use the bra- you, will not, you will not. If you don't have a knife, you just go back to your wife and say, you know what? There was an elephant there. And say, what happened? He said, I didn't have a knife. He said, it, it won't be me. So carry your knife wherever you are going. Carry your knife. The carrying of your knife is this. Extraordinary things will happen in your life. So you carry your knife waiting for the extraordinary things to happen. If there is something there, you go there and cut your own share. They will not borrow you their own knives. No, that was not part of the deal. Cut with your own knife. Number two, pastor said, special things will happen because great grace for special things has been released. Great grace for special. This is not just ordinary. It's a month of special, special, special. You know special, special, special. Huh? This is it. Praise the Lord. Pastor said, God's attention is towards you to do you good, to bless you, and to bless you in a special way. In It's his plan. And he said, say amen. amen. That's what he said. Did you hear him? He said, say amen to this. And we all said, amen. God's attention is towards you. Which means every direction. It's not like there are times that he is not watching. But his attention this time is special for the special things to happen to you. So wherever you are, you must know that he's beaming on you for the special stuff. Hallelujah. It's in a special way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And it does not end there. On top of great grace, more grace, and more grace, and more grace, depending on what you can carry. If you get there and the gear has to be changed to more grace, get more, get more, get more. For once, let's demonstrate the power of God. For once, let's demonstrate that power. Let's show them that we are the witnesses here. We are the one that represents the resurrected Lord. What he used to do, that's what we are going to do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Speak in other tongues. Bakasata balabashata libraskila arkila onske ziga bonde maliba soto broske lereba seterida alamangra haska baleba babasata rege bosha mantalira anda bresto skila rira dereske li groske lere ondo skia mantele bababasata barabasata rila anda maleko soto babaha jeke sekele bazita breke zetelila andra higa melebo satekia baleba babasata reke setelira barash Shitalila andagre, jelekila andro higa bo, mantere baba ba sete gila andagre hasia. Oh, mashata brahasi, le gras kila rida andaskosia. Remind yourself every day, every hour, every minute. Remind yourself that this is month of great grace and I am here to produce. I am here to work out these miracles. I am here to demonstrate power. Because uh, when the ability is given like this, uh, you will find the responsibility increases. Uh, you will face these situations. You will face them. You will come across them where you must demonstrate the power. Hallelujah. So those in our families, those in our families that did not believe in what we do, those in our families that doubted, they doubted because you are trying to write a resume. You are trying to write it yourself. And you're trying to use your own English to write the resume. Let your works be the resume that they want. Let your works be the CV. Let them know you by your works. Let them call you in that location wherever you are. When there is a disaster, when there is a sickness, uh, when things are hard, let them look for you and say, where is brother JP? Can you call him? Call him, call him, call him, call him. When they are in hospital, let them look for you. And you demonstrate the power. It's a month of great grace. And you produce results. Yes, Re- signs and wonders like the apostles did. They followed their. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you get it? Did you get it? So it's our month of great grace. So let's be exuberant. 
Let's be joyful in it. Whatever, pastor said, whatever you want this month, be able to accomplish it. You'll be able because the grace has been released. Hallelujah. And in the same vein, I want to talk about one evangelist, one soul winner that has failed to do their work. That has failed to do their work. Not because uh, they don't want to do it, but because they have not come across the word. They have come across the word, but they have not come across the specific word. Is anyone a mother, a wife? If you are a mother, if you are a wife, if you are an expectant, if you are a mother, if you are expecting to be a mother one day, I am talking to you. This next month is a Father's Day, and uh, men will be treated specially. But uh, but uh, with what I'm going to share with you now, with what I'm going to share with you now, it will be even much more special, much more special. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There are situations that we face a lot of times. This one is a bit controversial, the one that I'm going to share now. There are situations that we face in a lot of homes where we have got a father, a mother, and we have got children in the house. And we have got the mother going into church and the children. And the father does not go to church. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever witnessed it? Huh? And don't think the man is going halfway. No, he does not even want to go there. He, don't, he does not. On a Sunday, he will make sure he is sleeping. He will sleep a deep sleep. And yet you are here, you are just, glory, glory. You are, you are jumping in here. You are jumping in here, in church. And the man has been left at home. I'm not, I'm not going to... Uh, 50%, let me say 50%, 50% has been caused by this evangelist, this soul winner in the house that has not been able to produce a resume that can be seen, that can be understood. In a home, it is not about quoting scripture. It is about producing what the scripture has done in you. You see, so we want to quote revelations to your husband. You will not understand it. You want to go and quote the book of Daniel. You will not understand it. You want to talk about the first flight. You will say, go. Because inside him, he says, this woman will never catch that flight. Because of your works, the mother in the house, you special evangelist, you special soul winner in the house. Because of your works, your husband does not believe that you go to heaven. He will say, you will be the last one. You will not go. So no matter how you say, hey, you know, I think so. The, the men will say, <laughs> yeah, just go. Have you ever discovered that there are women that, that testify? The miracles have happened and they are busy testifying. Oh, we want to thank God. And the man is like, the men will say, yeah, it's a lie. It's not, not for you. As far as I know you, I know you inside and out. Pastor taught us something. He said, God knows the devil better than anyone. Huh? He knows, and I'm not saying this one is the devil. God knows the devil better than anyone. And he gave him a name to be what? A native liar. The devil is a native liar. So it's about knowing. So these two people, they know each other far beyond Beyond what you know. So whatever you say, this man will say, until you have crossed this bridge, I will never celebrate this thing because this is fake. It's not it. These are the men that will even say in their home, something has happened. They will say, ah, it's not, I don't think it happened in this home. Have you ever had situations where a pastor visits a home? Pastor Tony visits a home because there is a, a woman that attends in the church here. And the pastor says, let me pay, pay her a special visit. Pastor arrives there. The man will take his head and say, oh, we'll see you. I'm going. He is not even interested in seeing or listening. Why? Because you go to church, you come back in the house the same. You go there to be washed. So this man will be saying, what is he going there to do? When A, B, C, D, E, F, G has remained the same. So this man will say, 
Then you say, he didn't even respect my pastor. Yes, you will not respect your pastor because you have not respected yourself. You have not brought in the glory to say, I went in there, I have been taught, I have been nurtured. Now I am coming as the first soul winner in this home, as the first evangelist in this home. The moment you begin to demonstrate the power in your hands, the power in your mouth, in the proper way that God has given you, all men will come to church. When the pastor is burning, they will all come to see the fire. You are not burning, mama. You are not. Though you are in church Monday to Sunday, if the man still stays in the house, you are not burning. What I'm talking about here, if you search in your home, own home, you will look at it and say, this could have happened in my house. Yes, I told you the other time, I said, we love our mothers, but let's select what to take from them. Because at times we are inheriting even that spirit, the same spirit of not bringing in joy. Whatever they have, they cannot share it in the house. You see, men are resilient. They are very resilient. A man can sit under a tree. He can sit under a tree from morning to sunset with a stick going like this. He can sit there doing nothing. Which means they are not bothered by a lot of things. They are not. They can sit there. A woman cannot sit there for morning to sunset. It's not possible. It's not possible. I bet you it will not happen. But anyway, I am bringing this one to you so that you understand the part where we should be playing. Women, check your resumes. Just like when John said, when John said, go and see, ask him, is he the one? What have we changed about, about ourselves being in the house of the Lord? Have we managed? There is no one too difficult to change. Even if he does not come to church, he will be interested to say, how is Pastor Tony? Oh, greet him for me. He might not come, but he is happy. Inside, inside him, he says, this man has changed this woman. This woman is getting better and better. He's getting gracier and gracier. But what is happening? The moment the woman jumps out of the pulpit, hellfire has entered that home. And the man says, what is this? This is our month of great grace. Let's use this great grace to align ourselves, to position ourselves, so that if rapture comes, your man, your husband will not be ashamed. He'll say, he'll be the one who say, he says, I will go and you'll be left behind. Because he knows you much better and it can happen. It can happen. Why do, I, why do I, I wanted to read Romans 5. Sorry, time, because of time. Let's go to Romans chapter 5, verse, from verse 1. I was talking too much now. I want to read this one. Therefore, being justified by faith, listen to this, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Catch this woman, we, uh, wives and mothers. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Uh -huh. And patience worketh experience. And experience hope. And hope now, get verse 5. And hope maketh not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for us. Why did I take us to this scripture? Why did God give us love? Why did he give us love? Okay, Christ came to die for the sinners. He did not come to die for the righteous. The love that we are given the love that we are taught is so that we can deal with those that don't have love. You are not, you are not taught to, to practice love to those that know love. It does not work. You are taught to love, to endure those that don't know about love. If you pass that examination of dealing with those that have no love, then you have been able to expediate your love. Then you, you are taught well. Because demonstrating love to evangelist TK might not prove a point because he knows love. And whatever I do, if I err, he can correct it in the spirit. So it does not work for him. But to someone who does not know love, 
they will say, what manner of love is this? Why would this woman do something like this? Why would this woman speak like this? I'm talking about the one that is speaking in love, the one that is aligned. I'm talking to those that are even going to get married next year, next week, two weeks to come. That's why I said, if you look into the tree, you will discover that there is one soul that has to be one that is seated there. 99% it is because of you. It is because of you. The day you are going to, it does not matter how much you cook, you can go and eat outside. It does not matter how much you iron, it, you will go out and wear something that is not ironed. There is this liquid love that must flow through you in the home so that you can win this soul. And he will say, to that church that you go to, I will follow you. Not when you say, I'd like the of glory. He says, go. <laughs> What's happening? They went again this time. They were there last year. Mm, they are there. And when you come, you say, hey, hey, pastor, at least they went to great abundance. You say, you, say, you, you, you close one eye and say, what abundance? There is no abundance in you. For you, there is no abundance. Have you ever brought the word of God into your home and he has celebrated? No, he is not. Until you change, until you say, let this thing die in me. Let me prove who Christ is in me. Then everything in that home will change. Hallelujah. So, this is your opportunity. It does not matter you are in church. Cross check yourself. Check yourself. Am I walking? Because men, men, there is something that they look at which is different from what you expect. It's very simple stuff. That's what they look at. Very simple. Very simple. That's why I say, carry your revelations to him. You will not change. You, there's nothing that will happen. Carry Daniel. Carry uh, 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 Zachary. I to, you, you will laugh. You will say, ho, oh, oh. I pray. I pray for some people at times, even over the phone. At times they say, can you pray us over a video? You'll be praying. The men will be, will be going... Yes, you say, pray, pray. We are used to this thing. This woman goes out every morning and comes back. Yes, there is nothing. No, just pray. At times they will say, can you join us? They say, no, no, not me, not me, not me. That's why they will say, Christianity, ah, these people lie to each other. Some of these are coming from these, our, our beautiful evangelists and beautiful soul winners. It's coming from them. They are failing to demonstrate the great grace that they should do. Did we get each other there? I, I hope I have, not, uh, uh, <laughs> I have not taken you out of... But because of time, I will not go further. But, like I said, the love that you are given is for you to be able to deal with the difficult situations. You cannot manufacture a very big gun to go and kill a very small red. No. It's not, it doesn't work. It's waste. This is great grace. It's great grace. Use it. It will change a lot in your home. It will change a lot in your life. When you are still a lady, you say, when I walk in, uh, someone asked pastor a question to say, pastor, why is it after a few days, after what, what? These are some of the things. Because, because of time, I won't go there. Because these are demons, levels of demons. They are demons that deal with you when you are still brother and sister out there. Oh, I cannot sleep. Hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. The day you say, the two are one. The, the, the bigger demons of two hour, two hour one will come in. It will say, we are here. It say, you youngsters go now. We are going to deal with these people. We are going to teach them. We are going to teach them now. Then there is one there that will be dealt with first. One, one, one. That's why you must safeguard it. Be careful. Look at yourself and say, this thing, I have to produce this liquid love. It has to flow in this home. I need to check everything to find if it's in place. What should I do to be a better wife? What should I do to be a better woman in this home? Every day, check yourself. What should I do to be a better one? The moment you do that, this church will be filled to the brim. Praise the Lord. Because you won't even win your soul in your house only. But they'll begin to say, oh, come and see what's happening in my home. Come and see. They will come and say, let's follow them there. Let's follow them there. Before we know it, we have covered the whole earth. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because of time. Because of time. Because of time. Wherever you are. If you have not received Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because the things that we are talking about here. These are not things that can happen naturally. You need the Spirit of God to guide you. You need the Spirit of God to anchor you. To tell you to say this is where you should be. The Spirit of God should guide you. So, if you have not received uh, our Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Wherever you are, put your hand on your chest. You say, Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. If you have said this prayer wherever you are, you are now a child of God. You can now begin to operate with these instruments that we have just given you. You can now begin to use these instruments of war. You can now begin to walk in the righteousness of our Lord. If you have done this, I will pray for you now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for these that have received you as their Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you for the kingdom is increasing the kingdom is growing we thank you father that they will grow in your word and they will grow in the love of the lord thank you father that that kingdom of darkness is being squashed every day until it can be found it cannot be found anymore thank you father in jesus name we pray amen so if you have said this prayer wherever you are get in contact with us through that platform if you're in church here someone will come to you so that we can conduct you and will guide you to go to a church that will give you the word that we've just given in here this word you don't find it anywhere else eh? it's only found here and somewhere where we can say to you go to this one you will find this word hallelujah praise the lord